This is to all men and you better listen closely. If you follow these five self-improvement tips, you will definitely make it in life. Gym, eat, sleep and repeat. When you've got this covered, you can take on the world, I promise you. I personally think this is the foundation for self-improvement. You should try to make your muscles work a little bit more every day. If you don't have a gym, you can start by doing 20 push-ups a day and then increase it over time. Maybe if you have more time in your day, you can add squats or crunches and see something like this as a starting point. I mean, you have to start somewhere. And if you can afford a gym membership, you should definitely get one because then there's also a lot more you can do to try to improve your muscles. But as I said, it's not only your fitness, you should also focus on your food intake. Invest in good food. Think of all types of fruit, uh, rice, broccoli, and food that contains also a lot of protein. You can think of chicken or salmon, the list can go on. And also in these colder months, don't forget to get your vitamin D. So if you are slow and tired all the time, this can be the result of a lack of vitamin D. So it's definitely not bad to start supplementation. And if you focus on training and food and also make your sleep a priority, you will definitely notice a lot of difference. I would suggest seven or eight hours of sleep per night. This way your body can also restore and recover so you can also go hard the next day. Rule number two, learn to say no more often. You have to see it like this, your time is valuable and you can say yes to everything that happens to you. And by this I mean make yourself a priority. Of course it's important to do things for other people too but you should focus on yourself at first. So when you have got your stuff done and you have some extra time then you can start doing things for other people. It's important to focus on your journey first and this can be in small things. For example, sometimes my friends start asking me, would you want to go to the gym? And I actually want to go with them, but I know that most of the times the workout isn't as good as when I train on my own. So that's why sometimes I say no. And that doesn't make me a bad person. I just want to focus on myself first because I know that I maybe get a better pump or maybe I'm done more quick in the gym or maybe just because I want to have a moment for myself. So that's why you should definitely learn to say no sometimes. The third rule I have for you guys is read more. I mean, the holidays are coming, so maybe you can ask a book for Christmas. I have to say I didn't like reading at all at the beginning. I wasn't good at reading, I didn't enjoy it at all, and I also think it was a waste of my time. Because you can search everything on Google, right? So I thought learning was stupid. But I have to say, when I started reading more, my view on some things really changed. What I really like about books is the fact that most of us think that we're going to our struggles alone and that we're the only one that have those struggles. You can feel so much empathy with the character in the book and you will start noticing that you're not the only one with some of these struggles. The beautiful thing about books is that it can bring so much lessons of people who lived thousands of years ago and you can portray these lessons or rules on your own life. And if I could go back in time, I would definitely start reading earlier. Rule number four, create more. I mean, we as humans are creative beings. And instead of creating stuff, we are consuming so much more. Think about all the hours you spend on swiping on Instagram or TikTok. And I have to say, I did this too. It doesn't mean that I don't watch Instagram or TikTok anymore, but now it's become clear to me how much time I spent on these apps. So if you are consuming all this stuff, why shouldn't you create your own content? And it doesn't have to be videos or music. It can also be something like drawing or changing your room, just being more creative in your life. I think there goes so much hours in all those apps. And if you're using it for the right things, it's okay. But I also used to be someone who was scrolling down Instagram on all those motivation videos and didn't change a thing in my life. So it's okay to consume, but also start doing things. And rule number five, as a man, you need to learn how to fight. I think this is one of the things I regret most about my youth. The fact that I didn't start boxing classes at a young age. We need to get the skill to protect ourselves. And the beautiful thing about these sports is that it gives you so much confidence confidence to know that you can defend yourself when you end up in a street fight or something or someone's robbing your house and that's not the only benefit it's also really good for your fitness you will definitely get in shape and the thing i like the most about these sports is that it gets you out of your comfort zone i mean how many of you got actually punched in the face i don't think a lot of you have and i haven't either since one and a half years ago so that's why I'm going to give you one task for today. After watching this video, go on the internet and find the nearest boxing club in your area. Sign up for a free lesson and try it out. And it's okay that it will feel weird at the beginning. But when you get yourself out of your comfort zone by doing something like this, you will start seeing improvements in all areas of your life. I can promise you that.